and share. So now let's move on to Kyle and Mauricio split. It's getting messy. It is getting messy and Mauricio is spiraling. And it's really, to be honest with you, I feel bad for Mauricio. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I do. He looks like he is the one who is now going through it. He's lost a lot of weight. He's out here on TikTok and Instagram looking like a damn fool. It's just really bizarre. I I do have the video of it, so I'll watch it. But let's get into some of the details, okay? So this is according to Reality Blurb. And it says... Dun, dun, dun. Mauricio Umansky shared a very poignant message to those speculating about his life uh, about his life on his Instagram story over the weekend. As he remains estranged from wife Kyle Richards, Mauricio took to social media to share his thoughts, seemingly in regard to the rumors surrounding what led him and Kyle to split. As a new sneak peek of the Buying Beverly Hills season two featured the two of them discussing their relationship and the impact his business has had on it. Here is what I have to say to all the tabloids and people speculating about my life, Mauricio wrote in the caption of his IG story, which featured a man's voice saying, just get your S and go, just get your ish and go. As Mauricio attempted to silence the the wanderers on Instagram, he was seen discussing the demise of his marriage in a preview clip for the upcoming second season of his Netflix reality show. I've been so stressed to the level to travel. I've been so stressed and the travel obviously affects, you know, us, he admits to Kyle. Then during a scene with his daughters, Kyle explains, we wanted to have this conversation. We were all together for obvious reasons. I'm really sorry, you guys. Mauricio also mentions his split from Kyle to a business partner, telling him she wanted the separation as the man asks, how will this affect the business? As Mauricio shares his real estate company, which has grown immensely in recent years, the agency is, quote, a large family. And just like in every family, there's conflict, he states. Side note, I actually think this is going to help business. And I'll tell you why. Buying Beverly Hills season one was flat. It was very bland. It was cute. I didn't see it for Netflix. I saw it more for like an MTV, to be honest with you. Let me know if you watch Buying uh, season two. Kyle wasn't even in it the first season, other than like a quick 30 second FaceTime when Farrah got fake engaged. Poor Farrah. Um... I think this will be good for business, at least when it comes to season two of Buying Beverly Hills on Netflix. This is going to give it a major boost. I think people will be tuning in. People are going to be wanting to watch to see what he gives regarding him and Kyle's divorce and separation, because obviously Kyle gave nothing. And so and the thing with that is. You guys know how I feel about Kyle, but. To be fair, because I do like to be objectively fair, Buying Beverly Hills Season 2 started filming after, or at least overlap, with by, with um, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Season 13. So I think we're going to get a lot more meat and juice from what happened between Kyle and Mauricio on Buying Beverly Hills simply due to timing simply due to when they are actually filming and and all of that stuff because everything is breaking and everything is coming to light. So I think that we're going to get a lot more simply due to the fact that they're still filming, you know? At least they were filming last month or so. That whole Aspen stuff, Kyle said, was for the show. Anyway, also in the sneak peek, Sophia is seen crushing on fellow the agency employee Adam Um Adam as Alexia impresses their co-workers. Who's the heir to the throne? Ask Brandon. Last year, I would have said Farah. This year, Alexia. She's really stepped up, Joey replies. They need to miss me with this Alexia stuff. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but Alexia cannot string together a sentence. Still another employee who fears the girls running the business would be business suicide for the agency. Wait, does this mean I'm calling Alexia boss, Ben? thinks on or says or whatever. Now, this is the thing. (laughs) Let's watch 
Oh, thank you so much, Norma, for the super sticker. So Norma says, Brandy leads with sexuality. I don't think Andy would send those types of jokes to other housewives. I feel he joked because she, she would laugh. <coughs> Not cool. I, sorry, I had to cough. I agree 100%. I, unfortunately, I'm with Andy on this. I do think she was in on the joke. I think she has probably sent very inappropriate things to her coworkers and to Andy, who was her boss, you know? And I do think that she wasn't offended by it. Not saying that what he did wasn't offensive, but I don't think she was particularly offended by it. So I agree with you, Norma. And thank you so much for the super chat. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So let's watch um, the little video of Mauricio, and then I'm going to get into my stance on him and everything he's posting, okay? Just get your shit and go, go, go. Just get your shit. I mean, that was really sad, super pathetic, and weird and bizarre. Mauricio, I'm going to tell you what I told your wife, Kyle. And yes, I said wife, not estranged, your wife. Y'all need to stop with this whole, I want my privacy, and the tabloids can get their ish and go, and all of these online trolls. The reason why you have the agency, the reason why you guys have allegedly $100 million, the reason why you guys have multiple, multiple homes and properties and cars and generational wealth for your daughters and your daughter's children is because of us is because of the people you are now calling trolls, is because of the tabloids that you guys have on speed dial and you call to set up your little fake paparazzi shoots. Like nobody believes the paparazzi, the paparazzi just happen to know where you are. You call them, it's called backgrid. The reason why you have $100 million, the reason why you're opening 100 agencies this year and you want to be the biggest re uh, real estate, all that stuff, is because you sold us on your on your family. You have been on a show called The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills for 13 seasons. And the reason why you have a net worth of $100 million or whatever they want to say around there is because of us. So, Mauricio, please shut up. Please shut up. Because you can't sit here and act like you would have the agency and you would be who you are today without that show. And that show is us. It's the viewers. And you sold us on come into my family. Come, in, come into my family. Our blended family. We have Farah from the first marriage. And I have Kyle. And then we have, you know, our other daughters. And we have all of our dogs. And we have our houses in Aspen. The reason why you have a show on Netflix called Buying Beverly Hills is because of us. You said it yourself. The agency is a family-run agency. You have sold us on being in invited into your family. So the moment you want to act like we are trolls or the tabloids are coming after you and we need to take our stuff and go, well, I want my money back. I want I want refunds. I want I want my life back. All the hours I spent watching Beverly Hills, I want it back. All the money you made off of us through advertising and merchandise and BravoCon and the agency, I want it back. I want I I'm I will happily take my ish and go. Give me my cut. Give me my cut cuz it's disrespectful as hell to act like we you want your privacy now. When you've built your entire empire off of us, off of our backs, nobody said go on reality TV for 13 years and act like you have the perfect life. Nobody told you to do that, but it was a good way to make your money. It was a good way to make your business the agency. 
it was a good way to, you know, get all this real estate you guys have, right? So I will happily take my ish and go, how much is my check? What's the cut? What are my percentages of the agency? I will happily take my ish and go, just give me my check, Mauricio and Kyle. Because for the last 13 years, you guys have amassed millions upon millions upon millions of dollars because of us. And now you want to act like you want privacy and we're trolls and take your ish and go. Stop it. Stop it. And you're out here looking like you on Ozempic too, Mauricio. You taking the shots? You taking the shots? Because you look skinny in the face. And you look sick. And you out here look like a damn fool on Instagram and TikTok. Somebody should take should have taken your phone and said, not today, Papa. Not today, Daddy. Stop. Mauricio, please have several seats because you're out here looking crazy. Out here looking crazy. Out here looking all the way crazy. So please stop it. Stop. But I want, and we're going to, in and then two more stories. I'll get more into buying Beverly Hills season two. And I'll also show you guys the trailer and the clips and all of that stuff. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you think about Mauricio out here looking like he's going through it? You know, when you see your friends post something on TikTok or Instagram and they're like crying and they're like, this is just a vulnerable share. And you're like, girl, I wish you didn't. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's giving. It's like, Mauricio, you look like you're on Zimpic. You look like you're going through it. And how dare you? How dare you? I will happily take my ish and go. Give me my cut. Because that's the thing. It's like, and not just reality stars, but like celebrities and all that stuff. Now, this is the thing. Of course, every human being is allowed to have safety and privacy and boundaries. Duh, of course. What I'm talking about is you've created an entire multi-million dollar empire based on saying that you are going to allow us into your life. But the moment the narrative doesn't fit your agenda then all of a sudden we're trolls and we need to take our stuff and you want the tabloids to stop. When number one, you call the tabloids on yourself. Like, honestly, if I was the people in the tabloids, I would like go dark. What would happen if the, if the, if the paparazzi stopped showing up at your photo ops? What would happen if page six reality blurb, all of these people stopped talking about you? I bet you'd be on here real quick. Come back. Please help us. We need you to like advertise and blah, blah, blah. Boy, bye. Mauricio have several seats. I'm done with him. But I want to know what you guys think. You know, what do you think about Mauricio out here looking like he's going through it? He looks like he's aged about 10 years. He has Ozempic face. Honestly, I know I just read you for filth, Mauricio, but get some help. Get some help. Get therapy on your own. You know, don't get all skinny and gross. Be healthy. If you're going to divorce Kyle, just get the divorce over. If you're not, then stop playing our faces. And stop talking to us, the public, the, the social media, the tabloids, like you didn't make all of your money based on us. Okay? Like you don't have a show on Netflix based on us. Okay? Okay? So get some help, Mo. But put it down below and let me know what you guys think. But before you do that, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. Do, do, do. All right. So our next story is going to be a bit of a pivot. And let's talk about our 